What's up guys, CJ here once again for some Kung Fu Nights here for some Attack on Titan. Season 4, Episode 4, it is called From One Hand to Another. For starters, if you can hit that like button and subscribe, it helps the channel grow. If you enjoyed the reactions, it lets me know just that, and it shows me a lot of love, and I'd be greatly appreciated. So please uh, slice it, slap it, hit it, uh, bang it, whatever. Okay, let's pr proceeding. Last time we had a Reiner's episode, and we can empathize a lot more with how far he's come, I suppose, and what he's dealing with internally with everything and his transition and his... The whole process everyone went through um, that attacked the walls uh, on Paradise Island. But I'm not gonna waste too much time. I'm gonna get right into it. <laughs> Just got done talking to Aaron. I wonder if Reiner's gonna see him. Fargo. From one hand to another. Okay, that answers the question. It's going straight to paradise. Well, I really want to see these dudes. Willie? Please do. Huh. Oh, so they don't know. Huh, that's interesting. So we shouldn't assume who it is, so it may not even be this guy. Mm. One person? That's exactly how you can twist what they learn about the war. Hmm. Hmm. Interesting. So the Tibers are behind everything, basically. She's gonna pop off at this festival. I guarantee it. I'm so intrigued to see, like, what paradise looks like now. This, these Eldians are key to your whole nation's security. Yeah, they're dumbasses. Catching up, whoever that is. Is that Falco? Let's go! He's also delivering messages for the Eldian enemy. <laughs> They're pretty young still. Shit's popping off at this festival. Look at this. Look at all this space for Titans. Come on. This is... Maybe we'll make it to Paradise. I want to see what's going on in Paradise, but I mean, why would we go back if Aaron and people are already here, right? Oh, they have them abroad too? なおさら何もしないわけにはいかないでしょ。可愛いし頭もいいもんだから。偉い人ローラクシマクリで悪魔に見えてきた。うん。あんた今度ファルコ悲劇した。うん。<笑><笑><笑><笑> Hmm. Oh, 
All of my letters. <sighs> Getting in a little deep here, Falco. More than you know. Jaeger is your name? Are they talking in code? Is this like a link? I'm trying to figure out meaning here. Maybe not. Maybe it's just not there. Right. Grice family. So he knows. Wait, what? <gasps> that's his um that's his it is Jaeger, so that that's his grand that's his grandpa. <laughs> wow. Oh, so he's a patient. I keep trying to find meaning in all of like Hajime is notorious for just putting secrets in plain sight, like he did with Aaron a couple of episodes ago, and then the reveal at the episode right after. I'm gonna shut up now. Okay, she's cool. Alright, so we got some sympathizers here. Oh, snap! His first brother in the whole show? I don't remember a single other. Okay. A play? That seems random. Shit's popping off at this festival, though. I said it once, I'll say it again. Uh, and I think Helos and his story is bullshit. Is it the festival's here? This is the festival. I'm getting ready. I'm I'm buckling my seatbelt here. Okay. Ooh, that looks good. <laughs> this, this is something's gonna happen. All this commotion, bro. People are about to die. <laughs> no. <laughs> Nothing happened this episode. Never mind. I'm gonna shut up. What's the last line? I feel like everything's about to change. It is. Yeah, you're damn right it is. I'm gonna watch the credits. I don't know. I, I, I'm just gonna keep them running because I keep fucking that shit up. <laughs> oh, yes. It's night time, too. Kako saw Aaron. Yeah. <laughs> you got to see Aaron. Ooh. Yep. Damn. Woohoo! <laughs> Not looking at what's what's uh, happening after that. Oh, that was beautiful. So for starters, Hajime is notorious for hiding all of these secrets and clues in plain sight. He's done it in these past seasons, and I find myself just searching every single scene for something that, I don't know, something that will come back full circle or, or something that we need to know or that will tell us something. Let's start with the end. So with, with Reiner seeing Aaron here and Falco taking him down there, I, I think Falco is ignorant of all of this. Um, right. 
he, of course, he doesn't know who Aaron is, all that, blah, blah, blah. I think this is an opportunity that Aaron's going to put out there for him to try to come to, come to terms with Reiner or some shit. I, everyone's got to gotta be here. Everyone from Paradise has got to be here in Marley. Sh- shit's about to pop off this very next episode. You can, you can smell it. Um, there, there's no way anything else is going to happen. Like, sh- shit's about to go down next episode. Okay. Um, I was surprised to see his dad, not his dad, his granddad, in the ward, the the hospital ward, the injured ward. Apparently, he kind of he kind of lost his mind. I mean, he, yeah, he's he's he, I'm sure he's up there in age, but that that's so interesting to see. To see that. One thing that confuses me is I thought a couple of episodes I saw Zeke come back to the internment zone and he was greeted by a few old people. And I assume that those were Grisha's parents. I need to go back and look at that, but I must try to stay on topic with this episode because I ramble way too much with the show because I love it so much. So... Shit's about to pop off next episode. We know this. We were introduced to the Tibers. And Willie Tiber is like the seems like the head of it or the spokesperson for it. Apparently they they control Marley. And they do this by wielding the Warhammer Titan. He, it was so it was so interesting how he just put it out there that we we have we have it we have we have it in this room um again i said hajime is pretty tries to be pretty slick about slipping these secrets in plain sight it's supposed to be a mystery in this but i, I went back and watched it again um that whole scene that sequence whenever he was saying Oh yeah, you know it's in this room somewhere, so we have it. Um, that th- th- there was this one. There were a couple of shots where he they cycled through those images really quick, right? They kind of like showed showed you know some older senior citizen looking types, and they flashed through a couple. There was one with some kids and a lady. And there was one with um, I think just one other person or something like that, like a, like just some older dude. But um, it's I think it's I think the Warhammer Titan is maybe in that shot i highly doubt it's willie right it, it why create this mystery of it could be anyone when it's just when it ends up just being willie um i don't know if they're just trying to hide it and make sure no one tries to, uh, i guess that could make sense maybe they're trying to hide it and, and it is willie and, and no one so no one will know and no one will try to steal it but um i, I still think it's interesting how they were talking about how the uh, the Tibers just kind of control Marley, and and they wanted to atone for the they they seem to be drinking the Kool Aid right uh, for the Eldian Devil nonsense and all that right the past sins and they and they, they were, they were, he was talking about how the Tibers wanted to atone for those past sins by I su- I suppose teaming up with Marley and. In this old old war that we've you know that that is attack on titan lore just you know overpowering maybe one titan at a time or something like that um and then getting control of some of them like the beast and some of the other ones and then that's whenever king fritz leaves and all that so um there, there was definitely a power struggle back in the day but I, I think it's i think it's interesting seeing uh how the how, how the tibers fit into this whole thing um She's gonna pop off next episode. I can't. I cannot wait. I'm glad I watched through to the end, <laughs> the end of the credits because I've missed some credits uh, after credit scenes in the past. Um, our whole crew has to be here. Every everyone has to be here, and they are literally going to attack at this festival. And I think that, again, this is that moment where Aaron's like trying to trying to merge with with Reiner. Um, I don't know ideologically or you know with with 
Them's just saying, joining together and saying, fuck Marley, pretty much. <laughs> Excuse me. But it's split. It, it's The thing is, it's split between Eldians. Not everyone believes on one side or the other, right? Not everyone's on one side or the other. And it's split between the Marleans of, uh, as well, because you, you had, a, had that perfect perfect example of that whenever all of the younger generation of the warriors were cleaning up everything. Bertolt looking type, I forget his name, spills the wine on what's her name? The uh, girl, girl's, oh, uh, old girl's, girl's kimono. And she's like, no, I got you, bro. Um, oh, I, I accidentally spilled my shit, right? And, and she's like, yo, I don't know what the fuck they're going to do to you, man. I, like, I, I didn't want to see that shit, basically. So I assume she's she's, she's Marlian. She, clearly she's Marlian, right? So, she, you know, she's she's sympathizing, right? She's not just like, you know, Eldian devils, blah, blah, blah. Nothing's absolute. And, in, in, you know, the, for Eldians, Marlians, this show, in anything, nothing's absolute when it comes to just like a particular group. Every single every single person is different, and that's what makes things difficult. And that's what makes things complicated. So this is gonna get really messy, I'm sure. Um, that festival looked lit. All the food looked really good. I love anime food and how they fucking put that shit together. I want to watch me some Food Wars at some point. Um, and I cannot wait till this next episode. I really think that I'm gonna I'm gonna try to cut these discussions a little short. I think that wraps up everything I wanted to say. Maybe I could have elaborated on the um, on on Aaron's granddad. Um, let me, let me touch on that a little bit before I go and I'll wrap it up. Um, Aaron, Aaron's first, I thought Aaron's granddad knew, or I thought the doctor knew, right? He, he his name was Jaeger. <laughs> I thought he knew who Aaron was because he said, yo, quit sending Falco out there to send your, you know, deliver your messages. You know, we don't want him to. Or his family to be put in a fucked up situation, basically. Um, he wasn't saying that because he knew who Aaron was. He was saying that just because of the persona that Aaron went by. And, and what was his name? I forget his fake name he gave him. But he just didn't want Falco to get in trouble for, you know, the whole, hey, you're not sick and you're here kind of kind of a person and you need to talk to your family. He bought into the story. But man, it's just a while the... Uh, I don't know. It's wild for that other shooter dropped and find out that at once we found out that it is Aaron's granddad. I question whether or not Aaron actually knew that was him. I wonder how much he knows. It's been four years and he's, he's a step ahead, several steps ahead, clearly, in man manipulating Falco, getting to a place where he can have this conversation with Reiner. So who knows how much he actually knows. I'm closing this discussion because I'm going to keep rambling forever. Um, if you enjoyed this reaction, leave a like, share, and subscribe. Hit that bell so you know when the next Attack on Titan reactions are coming out. Um, again, please hit that like button if you if you watch this video to the end. It really, really helps the channel grow. Um, you know, puts me in a place where I can get more more reactions, more content out, and it just shows that love, man. So I much appreciate it. I'm gonna try to do one of these heart things. Um, <laughs> and uh, I'll catch you guys next time. Peace. I wanna take you for a ride.